Shapes and Angles Part 3 Let's look at angles. Let's look at vertically opposite angles. So we have two lines that intersect and we have an intersection point we call the vertex. In this case the vertex refers to this word vertically. So angles that are vertically opposite are opposite this vertex. For instance we have this angle and this angle. So we have A and B and A and B are equal. So vertically opposite angles are equal. Likewise we could have C and D. So we have C at the top and we could have C underneath. These are vertically opposite and so these two will be equal. We might have vertically opposite angles like this uh, where they're all equal. So they're all right angles. So we have 90 degrees and opposite we have 90 degrees and we can say these are also vertically opposite. We might get something like this, so kind of like chopsticks. Here the vertex is this point, so we could say that the angle A is vertically opposite angle B and these will be equal. Likewise we'll have angle C and we'll have angle D. Now we have corresponding angles. We can call these F-shape angles. So we have two parallel lines and we have a straight line that cuts through these. And the corresponding angles are these angles right here. In this case, they are both 90 degrees. Those corresponding angles are equal. We might have, instead of a straight vertical line here, we might have a diagonal line so we've still got the F shape and we've still got two parallel lines and the corresponding angles will be A and B and these will be equal. Or we could have something like this. Two parallel lines and a straight line that intersects both of them. The corresponding angles will be A and B and these will also be equal. Finally we have alternate angles. So you might call these Z shape angles because we have a Z shape where we've got two parallel lines and we have a diagonal line that joins the two. And the alternate angles here will be the A and the B. And these are, you guessed it, they are equal. So here's an example of alternate angles. It doesn't look like a Z shape, but it's still kind of like a Z shape just a bit stretched out. So alternate angles will be these angles here. So I'll just put A and B and these will be equal. So an important thing to know about uh, some angles, we've got straight line angles. So in this case, we've got straight line and we've got a right angle and the angle on the straight line will add up to 180 degrees. So it doesn't matter what the two angles are, when you add these two together, they're on a straight line, they'll add up to 180 degrees. 